Hi everyone, I'm Julie and welcome to Big Sky Beauty. Um, today is my Saturday Smiley and I've got quite a bit. Before I get started on this, I wanted to tell you all, I was going to upload a DIY video on Monday for, um, no actually it was last Monday, I just haven't uploaded it yet because I haven't heard back from them on that little uh, mock-up Benjabelle brush tree that I made. I don't, I, f I feel compelled to get the consent of Jan and Ben, the, the folks that made the Benjamin brush tree, you know, the actual tree. I don't want to show that project until I get consent from them because I feel like I just don't want to step on anybody's toes and out of, you know, respect. I mean, it's a young couple that, you know, that made themselves successful out of this brilliant idea and I just do not want to mar that in any way shape or form and so until I hear back from them whether they say yes or no if they say yes then you'll be seeing it if they say no then we just need to all forget that I even mentioned it because I I'm not I decided that I'm not going to show that DIY project on how to make your own Benjamin brush tree unless they give me the go ahead now mind you this one that I was going to show you is a it is not the Benjamin tree, okay? I mean, it is a throwaway. It would only last you maybe a month, two months max, before the plastic insert wears out and the brushes don't hold in there anymore. I mean, it's made out of foam board and duct tape, you know? It's not, <laughs> it's nothing that's going to be any kind of enduring, lasting, sturdy, durable, anything like that. Um, you know, and nothing that I did is nothing that anybody could do at home. So... You know, with that said, I am not going to present that video to my viewers, um, and I'm really sorry about that, but out of respect for the owners and the, um, you know, the, the folks that invented the Benjamin brush tree, until I hear back from them, and if I don't hear back from them, I'm just not going to put it up. So, I hope everybody understands, okay? I think if you guys invented something that, you know, was like your little baby brainchild, you would probably want people to have the same respect for you, so... Okay, so let's get going on what is really good this week, and I've got two food items, <laughs> okay, I do. The first one is Kia, and it is a um, seed, um, it's buckthorn, buckthorn, or buckwheat, chia, and hemp seed cereal mix, and it's got uh, cranberry and vanilla in it, and it's just, this is literally, it says on the back of it that it's a superfood. Um, it's a superfood cereal made with chia, hemp, and buckwheat. This power trio of seeds is full of plant-based protein fiber, um, LAA omegas, boost your nutrition with only two tablespoons of cereal and feel the energy from these powerful, functional, and nutritious super seeds. This stuff is so freaking good. Uh, now, I've been buying this for a long time, but I've just been using it a whole lot in the last couple weeks, and I thought, I'm going to show my viewers that because it is so tasty. And I'm telling you, I take, I'll take a couple tablespoons. Now, I take about, you know, like a, a quarter of a cup, maybe even a half a cup. And I'll put it in a bowl, and then I'll just put about a, a cup of skim milk on the top and let it expand. You know, the chia seeds really puff up. you got to be okay with slimy food because chia seeds get really slimy, kind of like okra. But you just keep in your mind that it's all vegetable. It's all plant-based. You know, I'm okay with anything slimy as long as it's not meat. <laughs> Literally, I, I mean, I love my meat, but nothing slimy. But is a vegetable, a slimy vegetable, eh, it don't bother me. So, really, really yummy stuff. Now, you can get this at Costco. You can get it at a lot of your health food stores going to carry it, um, obviously, online. And it's called Kia. It's Q-I-A. And really, really yummy stuff, you guys. You wouldn't think that this would be good. And, I mean, look at me. Do I look like a health nut? You know, I mean, I'm trying to be better, but uh, it is just so good. And all of that stuff in there kind of puffs up, and the cranberries get soft. It's got big old dried cranberries in it, and oh, it's just yummy stuff. And, you know, like 20, 15, 20 minutes after you eat it, you can feel the energy kicking in. And it's just, and it's just really good stuff. Um, I highly... And I'll suggest it to anybody. It's just very, very good stuff. And good for you, too. And my other food item are these Snap Pea Chips. Again, Costco. Um, they're called Snap Pea Crisps. And they're not really, you know, they're not dehydrated Snap Peas or anything like that. Although the bag would lead you to believe that's what they are. But that's not what they are. Um, they're some kind of formed 
uh, baked. They're baked, and they look like a little snap pea. But oh my goodness, these things are so good, you guys. When I first saw these at Costco, I was walking past them, and there was this elderly gal standing there, and and I was looking at them, thinking, hmm, because a lot of times I've gotten some of that good for you stuff food from Costco, and it was just horrible. And, you know, Costco, you're paying for a bulk item, so it's not like it was just a couple bucks at the store. Well, the lady was piling them in her basket. And I asked her, I said, oh, those must be pretty good, huh? She said, oh, I just can't get enough of them. And when you see a, a gal my size, you know, well into her probably 70s maybe, and she's mowing down on something like this, you just assume that it's going to be good, right? I mean, she obviously wasn't a health freak or anything like that. Um, well, no, that was stereotype, and I didn't mean it like that at all. I just, I didn't take her for a health freak, okay? Um, it says here, made from whole pea, 70%. Tasty baked, light, salted, snap pea crisps have less fat, more fiber, and low sodium. So, basically, they're just like a little chip. You know, they're going to replace your chips, which I don't eat chips. So, you know why I picked these up, I don't know, but now I can't get enough of them. They are so good. Mm. They taste just like a pea, but crispy and um, slightly salted. Not too much, though. Not anything that you need to worry about your sodium levels. Okay. Um, another thing that I've been really loving this week, I have really bad insomnia. I am lucky to get five, six hours of sleep a night, max. Well, I found these. They are little gummy melatonins. <laughs> and I've been taking melatonin for quite some time. But these little gummies are so tasty. They have five milligrams of the melatonin in them. And I usually take about seven, seven and a half milligrams. But I find for some reason, and I think it might be because you chew these up and so your your body's um, you know, absorbing them faster. I've got a nose itch. Something I've been putting on my face in my makeup has been making me itch. I'm not sure what it is yet. Anyways, these are very good. If you guys have sleeping problems or if any of you take melatonin and you're up above five milligrams, go get you some of these little gummies from from uh, Walmart. They might just you know, work better with a less dosage like they did with me. They're uh, Spring Valley Adult Gummy 5 milligram Melatonins, and they're strawberry flavored. And I think they're just working better because you chew them all up, you know. Oh, they got a really good flavor, too. Anytime a medicine has a good flavor, I'm on board. <laughs> okay, this week I have been really loving my personalized MAC palette. I actually brought this home. I had a friend come over with her daughter. Uh, that were going to a function uh, a couple days ago, and I brought one of my MAC palettes home. And I usually keep these up in my shop because I don't want my kids tearing them up. But now I'm got now I'm thinking I might have to just fill me a couple palettes of the same thing and keep them here because I've been loving it. And these are all of the colors that you never see anybody get. <laughs> I'm not gonna swatch them all, but just I've been really loving my. This is one of the first one of the first palettes that I put together. Um, when Mac, uh, no, it was when I moved to Helena. When I moved to Helena, because when I moved, I a bunch of my stuff got busted up. And this is one of the first ones that I put together, and I just rediscovered how much I love this palette. Okay, um, you've all seen the Fit, the Fit brand cosmetics. I'm a lot of people there, they're holy grail. I like, I really like a cream, um, a cream contour. I am trying to get away from powders on my face, except for my Bye Bye Pores. I'm, I'm really attempting to use only um, creams because I think they look so much better on my older skin. And so I found this the other day and I grabbed it and I've been using it and I really like it. And it's the darkest shade of the Fit Me Concealer Stick. And this one's called Coconut. And I've been using this for contouring and it works beautifully on my skin. The color just shears out to match me perfectly. I mean, it's... It's like it was made for me. <laughs> now, it's got some little primer thing in the middle you can see there. I don't know. I don't use that. It, I don't even... That means nothing to me. I only use it for the... Get back here. I only use it for the dark, you know, for the um, color of the contour cream, and it's been working really, really good. It's really smooth and lightweight, blends out really quickly. Um, I've never seen anybody do that. I'm sure there are plenty of them out there, but if you guys like cream... Um, contours this is a really good handy nice and handy you can put it right where you want it I'm just I really been liking that this week 
Okay, and I think I might have mentioned this before, but I'm not sure, but it works so dang good, I'm going to mention it again. The little e.l.f. Um, za uh, zit Zapper Concealer. It's green, it's got tea tree and chamomile and stuff in it, and this stuff, I'm telling you, I put this on a pimple when it starts to come out, it's, you know, it's green. And it not only does it cover, now you got to use it with a really light hand, really light, or you're going to end up packing a neutral colored concealer on top of it before you put your foundation on because it's got a it's really pigmented <laughs> but I put this on a pimple or, or a blemish that I feel coming out and within two days it's gone it never even comes to a head or anything I've been really liking this and you can tell because it's up that far and I've only had it for three weeks I really like it, and I use it on just my red spots or around my nose and stuff because that happens to be where I get most of my pimples too, and so it's handy that, you know, it's a color correcting concealer with a zip zap and properties in it that, you know, it's just a really wonderful little one buck, one dollar, and it works fantastic. Okay, and I have been loving, as I said a minute ago, cream products, and I found the perfect combo. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, anyway. When I was at Target the other day, they were having their big blowout um, clearance sale. And I picked up a bunch of L'Oreal's, um, what are their mousse, blue, mousse blushes, Magic, Magic Smooth Souffle blushes. They only had three left. I don't even know how many there are, but I picked up three of them. One in each color. This one is called Cherub. Okay, and these are beautiful blushes. I really like them. And then I have all of the e.l.f. HD blushes, and this one's in headliner, I think. Yeah, this one's in headliner. But let me show you this combination. It is so gorgeous, and I have been putting headliner on the back part of my cheek, right on my cheekbone. And then I will put some of this cherub up here on my apples not you know I don't put it on there like you shouldn't put it on there but just blend it in I've got it in I've got it on right now look at that isn't that a pretty combination they just look fantastic together they give my cheeks just a, a completely natural glow like you can't even tell I have any foundation or anything like that on they just they look really, 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 really good together. I think this might be one of the best blush combinations I have ever tried out. I think that that might very well be um, one of the best blush combinations I've ever tried. They're, it just looks gorgeous together. And for those of you that don't know what this, um, I think you've all we've all seen this Elf HD blush. Um, I will never use. <laughs> never use that much of this. It takes literally a pinpoint of this product and I mean you get a big know, tube of it. I don't even know how much is yeah none of the, the measurement or the um the sizes on none of Elf's packaging. But you know they have I think there's four in all of the Elf HD blushes because I got them. Actually I got doubles in of some even because I like them so much but you ain't going to use this in a, in a lifetime because, I mean, it literally takes, like, that much. Literally, it'll take that much to do both of your cheeks. Oh, <laughs> I was missing it. And then you just take your little elf stippling, small stipple brush, and, you know, you spread it out on your hand and tap it out, and then take your small stipple brush and put it on there. And, oh, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous product. And then I'm going to assume that I'm the only one that hadn't seen these L'Oreal blushes, but they sure are pretty. I really, really, really am liking them. And that's the chair alone, although I just showed you it with the... But yeah, this has been a beautiful, beautiful combination. And I think this has worked good on any color skin tone. Um, it works particularly well on mine because I just like it. But I think it would work really good on fair-skinned, fair-skinned people. And I have got a big event coming up for the governor's granddaughter's wedding party. And I'm going to... I'm going to be using this on a couple of the girls are super fair and I've been kind of the, the the granddaughter wants the makeup to all match on all of her girls and so I've been kind of stressing about that because they go from um, women of color all the way up to like almost albino so I'm like how am I supposed to get that to all match but and she wants it bright and beautiful it's an 80s themed wedding yeah so I've got to make it look good 
from chocolate colored skin all the way up to no colored skin. So that's going to be a bit of a feat. Okay, um, uh, one more thing and then I am done. You guys have to get down to your, to your Kmart. Jordana has their new eyeshadows out. They're, they jumped on the baked eyeshadow wagon like everybody else has. Baked seems to be in. And they got their new Jor their new eyeshadow line in. that are all baked. There's eight of them. At least our Kmart only had eight of them. And I am going to show you these with the risk of running really high on time because I am so impressed with these. They cost me $2 a piece. Um, I'm sure that's what they are anywhere. You know, and I don't know. It might be a little bit more in a big city, but they're they're cheap. They're really, really super cheap. And these, I believe that these are the new line. I'm Don't quote me on that because I'm not really positive. But if you remember when I did a haul a while back, I got... Uh, I got some of the the old line, which are these little silver pots, which I happen to love. But um, and these weren't there at that time, so I'm assuming that this is the new line. So I don't know, but the white and the matte, or the white and the black, are matte. Okay, those are the only two that are matte in the line. And let me show you this. Oh my gosh, look at that! And they are so creamy, much more creamy than you would think a baked shadow. You know, baked shadows generally have, are, are predisposed to just be a little dusty and powdery, you know. But these are just gorgeous. Now I'm going to do these two at a time just to try to save on time. There's a purple and the orange. And you get 3.3 grams of product in these things. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? The color pigmentation in these shadows is absolutely outstanding. I I just, I couldn't believe it. And I'm so glad I picked them up because normally I wouldn't have. Um, I'm not real big on baked products. You know, I just not. I don't like the fallout. I don't like the, you know, the dust that they kick up. But these are just beautiful and I'm really glad I got them. Yellow and the green. Okay, are you ready for this? Look at that. And that's one swatch, you guys. Look, okay, there's my fingers pretty much cleaned off. All right. Look at that. Ah! Oh, man, they are so, so pretty. Okay, and then are you ready for this? Pink and the blue. Now, the pink you're probably not going to see very well, but wait till I show you this blue. Look at that beautiful blue. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Look at those colors. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I am so impressed with these shadows. Now, I got these for, um, I got these to put in a little kit that I was making my kid, but I kept the set and went down and got another one for her because they're just too beautiful. I don't care that they were cheap. For me, that's, I'm even happier about that. You know, I'm not inclined. I don't feel the need to own, um, every, I don't feel the need to be, um, I don't know, pretentious about my cosmetic purchases. I have been doing this for way too long. <laughs> you know, I know that with a little bit of hunting and a little bit of obscure looking, you can find very, very good quality pigmented stuff without spending an arm and a leg. And I can find this kind of quality in a product that cost me $2 for three and a half grams each. I'm cool with that. So that's all I got, you guys. Um, that is my Saturday smileys. I do not have a frown, which is very happy. I didn't encounter anything this week that I was particularly upset with. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you a little pointers on some really good things to maybe pick up for yourself. Um, and I will list everything in the down bar. I hope um, my keyboard still isn't fixed yet. That The tech guy can't get to it until Wednesday. And so everything that I type out, I'm doing with an on-screen keyboard with my mouse pad. Click, click, click. Yeah, so that's kind of rough. So if there's if everything here isn't down below, I am so sorry. But when I get my keyboard fixed, I will come back to these videos that I uploaded while it was fried. And I will repair, you know, I will put all the information down there for you guys. But to do it without a keyboard is kind of rough. Um... Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'm in the process of building um, www.bigskybeauty2010.com. So I'll have my own webpage. I'll still be doing my, you know, I'll still be doing YouTube and stuff, but everything that I have on my channel here will be on my YouTube or on my uh, 
youtube.com page and, and a whole lot more. On that page I'll have a little bit more legal authority to film my um, my clients and my weddings and I really really want to film this governor's granddaughter wedding I got coming up so it's one of the main reasons why I made that page because I really really want to film that so I love you all so much thank you for being here and um, stay tuned because I've got a special video I'm going to throw up at the same time as this one and I will see you tomorrow bye